The Malvern Hills Forestation Project was a big project, so this was a challenging block. There's indigenous vegetation already here, it's quite scrubby. Knowing that those types of vegetation regrowing are significant, how do we protect them but still maximise our forestry area? We did a resource consent process that involved bringing outside consultants, went through and identified areas of our forest that we wanted to forest and also identified areas that should not be forested, should not be cleared. A couple of methods of land clearance, we use mechanical slash raking. On some of the more sensitive sites, we use line cutting. Okay, hey, you know, if you have a machine here, it's going to cause too much erosion or there's a even river below with the risk of sedimentation getting there. We lands at the bottom where we didn't want a machine anywhere near and we did spot spraying. The environment benefits firstly because we've actually identified areas of the environment that we're not going to forestate. Sort of increased our reserve areas so there's more area of grassland or vegetation species to start growing. Other areas we've identified like rocky outcrops where lizards live. Go, hey if we plant all around there we're going to isolate that population it's going to go extinct. So what we ended up doing was making pathways through the forest, starting from the Avon River at the bottom, big corridors all the way up to the surrounding Department of Conservation land. So we've got corridors through forest. We've noticed there's a few plant pest species coming through, so one of our next projects as well is to go through and remove those pest plants. There's already a really good seed source here of natives. We want to concentrate, let them get established, and the main way we do that is by herbivore pest control. So on this property, bear and goats are a big problem. So we have colours on site to really focus on keeping that population of pest animals down, which will obviously protect our plantation forestry, but also as a benefit to the indigenous biodiversity here. And we're also about to kick off our wasp control program. Definitely with Ampere Folsom, it's given us a bit of a benchmark on other projects we're doing. This is what we achieved in Melbourne Hills. How do we replicate that on other properties that we're managing? It's a win-win.